Hello everybody and welcome to Doggy Style. Today I'll be grooming Shih Tzu. His name is Fighter, but that's the shorter name. He has a name like this, but I cannot pronounce it. Uh, you can see uh, the condition of uh, his coat. Uh, he's a free dog. Uh, he's a show dog, but he lives free, not in the box. Um, his hair is not so much tangled. He doesn't have uh, any kind of, um, how do you call it, um, knots, but, and you can see that the coat inside is very clean, but, oh, let's see. you see, inside is very clean, but inside and all, okay, he has knots here a little bit, but you can see, a. Hey, Fighty. But you can see, let's say this, <laughs> and then behind, and I can lift him like this, so you can see. First we will bathe him, and then after bathing, brushing him, and that's it. Uh, don't be alarmed if uh, you think that this will take, I don't know, four or five hours. No, it will take me only two hours, maybe less, uh, because I have good brushes for him. I have good uh, shampoo, conditioner. So actually now we can start. <laughs> First, I have to cut this uh, rubber bands but I'm always cutting them cutting them like this so I don't uh, I don't cut the hair every hair is important for him because he's a show dog like I told you and uh, you just have to be very careful not to touch any of the hair and that's it oh my gosh his hair is so sticky and now my fingers are yellow. Where were you, guy? <laughs> Fighty, where were you? Are you in the forest? Or in some meadow? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fighty. <laughs> and of course, I have to untangle the braids. First, I have to make his bathtub. Uh, his owner gave me his uh, shampoos but this is not that one this is the one first i'm putting shampoo inside i'm leaving a little bit for later and then just a spot this one and then i just put water inside and make Because the foam is the stuff that cleans the dog. Of course, the shampoo cleans the dog, but the foam is very necessary. Right, Fighty? First, we have to fill it up, and then we will put the dog inside. See? I just cover his eyes 
and I release the water on the head. You see, nothing is happening bad. You lift the head up and the whole head is now wet. And then I just take one empty uh, whatever I have and then I just cover him. The water is actually brown, you see? But it still has shampoo inside and he, the water and the shampoo will do its magic. You see the water? It's not actually brown, it's greenish brown. I don't know what color this is. Eel. It's icky. You're icky. Yeah, icky, icky, yep, 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 yep. And then underneath, bloop, 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 bloop. And then I take a little bit of uh, shampoo that left. And then I just put it directly on the head and on his ooh, 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 mustache. I will open the door, he cannot go out anyways. Oh, the rubber band is here. <laughs> I don't have so much phone, so I will take it. Since the phone is still here, I have to bathe him until the phone disappears. Then I know I cannot work. So this first shampooing in the bathtub is over. There is much, not much, much. There is not much foam left, and you can see the color of the water. It's pretty dark, and that's it. I will take him out from the bathtub, and then I will release this water and bathe him again in the shampoo. Now I'm putting another shampoo. I call it second hand. And when I put that shampoo, actually I put it less than first time because he's already clean. And that's it. And the foam has to be also everywhere. His moustaches, his little nose. Everywhere, everywhere. So the thing with the long hair dog I always try to uh, ask people uh, when they want to cut the hair of the long hair dog. I always try to convince them to not to do that because the hair of the dog is almost like an umbrella in the summer and like a warm jacket in the winter. It depends about the dog and the amount of hair and the what kind of hair does he have but it's always better to leave the hair like it should be long and when the hair is long it is heavier than when you cut it and the hair will not tangle because you will already have everyday brushing it will be much easier for you and for your dog. Right, Fighty? <laughs> and now I have to rinse him and I'm gonna put a conditioner. Actually, the thing that I'm putting is mask, aromatherapy mask. When I rinse, I always use uh, high pressure water because now then, because then I know that I will rinse the shampoo the best that I can because shampoo cannot stay on dog. <laughs> so now I'm making this mask. I just use a scoop like this. And I put it in the empty one. I fill it up with warm water. 
and then I shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> and then open it. And then I put it on him. Whee! Go back. The mixture of mask and water has to be like creamy soup, not chunks of mask in the water. And then I'm just putting it all over. After 10 minutes of soaking up in the mask, I'm rinsing only excess with the mist. So now the mask is definitely everywhere. And that's it. He's all done. The mask will stay on him. It will make his hair uh, heavier. And it will make brushing easier. But first I have to take a towel. <laughs> Since the air conditioning is on, I don't want for him to catch cold. I'm putting the towel, but also I'm putting the towel because I will first uh, dry him underneath and then slightly go up. While I am uh, drying him, I will brush him and uh, all these uh, hairs that looks that they are tangled they will just be untangled <laughs> it will be very easy you will see easy easy all i need a brush like this this is a slicker brush and the brush like this you see it's very soft and has a pins without a plastic uh, bubble because plastic bubble can break and then it will hurt the dog that's the best brush for him. I always start to dry and brush from the bottom part and then gradually work my way up. And I help myself with hair clip to hold his upper part of his coat to not get in the way. I always use bigger blow dryer for him to get his hair easy to dry and easy to get it straight. But now I switched with smaller one to detangle first. While I am brushing, I don't want for you to fall asleep, so I will take this opportunity to tell you some cool and fun facts about Shih Tzus that you might don't know. Did you know that they can come in 14 different colors and 3 different markings, and that most of them have a little white spot on their forehead, that represents a kiss from Buddha, because they might be small in size, but they are big in personality. In Chinese language, their name Shih Tzu means lion dog. They might have small body, but they have big heart. According to legend, Buddha was traveling with one small long-haired canine and suddenly one group of robbers was trying to attack Buddha. His lovely companion with lion heart was so fearless that he chased those thieves off and Buddha was so grateful that he kissed the dog on his forehead, giving it a little mark. Cool, huh? Okay, enough about past. Let's talk of present. A lot of people think that Shih Tzus are just one small breed, but the truth is that they require a lot of mental stimulation and physical activity so their temperament can be satisfied. If you just leave them to entertain themselves, don't be surprised with different damage they will make. <laughs> you know that they have teeth and they can use them anywhere. 
even in places that you wouldn't expect. Skin is very important organ on their body, but their coat is their main isolator. As much from cold, that much from high temperatures. So if you have a crazy idea and want to shave your Shih Tzu, trust me, it's not a good idea. Be aware of it. For easier maintenance, I advise you to shorten their coat a little bit, but with scissors and a little bit on sanitary area, but not too much. Oh, as you can see, I have found one big knot and just watch now how it simply goes away. You just need a good conditioner and a perfect brush. Depending on the size of the knot or tangles, I switch on different brushes. Just take your time, don't be rough and gradually go from bottom to top. Nor am I a fan of brushing when a hairdresser combs me, so I have a great empathy for my clients on the grooming table. Even though I think I'm done, I double check. I also let my client to rest when there is no need to stand. Here you can see me brushing his head and his ears. I also put a little pillow underneath his chin so he can chill. <laughs> I'm gonna speed up this part. And again, when I think I'm done, I double check, but at the end I always use this metal comb to definitely check. <laughs> so, when you use the metal comb to check, you press it all up to skin and pull down and if you did not stop at any part, you are done with brushing and your dog is tangle free. Yay! Just like our fighty, I mean fearless fighter von Unterwein. Haha, <laughs> I said the name correctly. Haha. <laughs> I have to check all the hairs needs to be on the place. When you go with the comb like this, press till the skin and you cannot stop. If you stop, that means that the knot is there and it's not good, you have to do it all over again. Like here. So yeah, it is a job. But it's worth it. And sugar at the end. I'll just gonna freestyle his head hairs. I'm gonna lift up over the eyes one big strand of his head hairs in one ponytail and then behind it the other one and that's it. He is ready to go home and next week to the dog show. So, if you want to know what results Fighter achieved on his next dog show, do not hesitate, just press like. And of course subscribe if you didn't already. Thank you! Actually, I'm in a good mood, so I'm gonna leave you a little teaser 